With all the elements of their fish cakes cooked and prepared, Anita and John begin the all-important task of shaping them. Don't make the fish cakes too big, just um, half the size of a tennis ball in your hand before flattening it. If you're going to do a fish cake and you want it to be identical, then you'd use an object to identify the size. Not half a tennis ball. Do you think we should do more mushrooms because they disintegrated a I little? I was thinking maybe, yeah. Should we do yeah. another same again of mushrooms? Exactly. Let's and do, do that. And put the should we put the bird in the oven? I'll do that right now. Are you going to keep it in the in the pan? Yes, but I don't think it needs in very the pan, long. Nice side facing up. We've got a bit of a mushroom crisis with the red team. Jean is on her second batch of mushrooms. Spence, he's going to have another go. Second loads of mushrooms are going on now. But they're going to go wrong again. That's because they haven't grilled them first. Mushrooms are going fine. All is crusty. I mean, this is the most basic thing, but I have forgotten. Oh, God, is it two? I'd have forgotten how much. Two, I think it's... Didn't he say four? Did he say four? Just keep stirring that brew, Anita, for a yep. little bit. And then, after about two minutes, then we'll start adding the milk. I am adding the milk. OK, you've already started. Yes. OK. It's now like a paste. It needs to get, like, a sauce-like quality. So if it's too thick, Anita, it's too add thick. some more milk. I think she's doing OK. She's Anita Harris. Right, what can possibly go wrong? Time is uh, of the essence, and... I am very late. Spencer, how's your bird? The bird I've just checked, it's um, still very, it's still soft. So yeah, it, it, need, it needs more. Yeah. We've definitely got quail cookery issues with the red team. The quail has been in the oven for, I think, around 15 minutes. John cooked his for about seven or eight minutes. Oh dear, oh dear. How does your toast look? Mine, mine looks... I'm, I'm doing a second toast because the first one didn't look great. I don't mind a bit of burnt toast, mate. I mean, in the middle, it's still bread. Birds out to rest. Guys, you have two minutes. I can't see very much on plates. No. Right. Let's get carving, then. I'm a little bit pink inside, so I'm going to cook them a tiny bit or leave it pink. Mine's all right. Mine's, mine's cooked through. OK. Think about how oh. you look, Spencer. Darn it. Uh, look, I've got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. They're almost the same. I'm, I'm really pleased with both of you. That quail is more cooked than I would want it to be, but it's still pink. It's OK. What I do like is you've, you've taken the skin and made it crispy, and that's added to the texture. I think that's really good. You've got really good garlic flavour and parsley on those mushrooms. They're, even, even though they're reducing, they're still juicy. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> your toast, Spencer, this is your, your toast. That <laughs> bit at the bottom there, right? <laughs> OK, that's called burnt. OK. OK? But good on you, guys. They don't quite look the same, do they? No. But I'm really impressed you've got everything on the plate, because with only minutes to go, the poached egg hadn't even been thought about. Well done. You've both got identical, virtually identical flavours into your fish cakes. Nice soft bits of potato, lots of flaky fish, plenty of seasoning. That's lovely. Brilliant. Brilliant.